Hello, welcome back. I'm really pleased that you could join me again. So it is Saturday morning here in Edinburgh and this afternoon I'm having a party in the garden, in my garden, to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, which I'm sure you've seen a lot about on social media and in the news. It's been quite a big event here in the UK and everyone seems to have really embraced this celebration and have been enjoying themselves. The weather's been quite nice. So it's been a really good atmosphere and these events always lift the nation and give us something to be thankful and excited about, which is always a good thing. So yes, I'm having about 20 people in my garden this afternoon. So I'm gonna be spending most of today preparing for that. To be honest, it was a very last minute decision to have this party. And um, although I've done a lot of planning, I haven't started any of it yet. So it's not gonna be a huge, hugely formal party, it's quite casual, but I am gonna be serving a few bits of food and drinks, things that are simple and easy so that people can just stand around and nibble rather than having to sit down with a knife and fork. And so it's gonna be very casual, but still that takes a bit of work. I'm making sausage rolls, um, some coronation chicken buns, and then I've got the crudité that I made for my picnic a few weeks ago. I've got some crisps and snacks, and then I'm making a chocolate cake, which happens to be the Queen's favorite cake. For drinks, I've got champagne, rosé wine, and pims. So a bit of a selection, it should be quite fun. So I'm gonna be doing that today. And I thought that I would share the process with you. So as you may have noticed, I have managed to put up the two prints on the wall. I did that yesterday. And to be honest, I'm completely shocked that I've managed to do it on my own because they're quite big, a little bit heavy, and then to get them to be completely straight, aligned, and exactly in the right position, I thought was gonna be a real task. But I managed to do it, and that is through sheer determination. Now, I know that I said I was gonna hang those two pictures above the fireplace, but um, the situation with the wall lights, um, I couldn't get them, I couldn't get that fixed in time in terms of having to take them down, tape them up, and and make them good so that they wouldn't be dangerous in time for this party. So I just thought that for now, I would hang them there. And actually, I'm thinking I might keep them there because they look quite good. They fill that wall and we've still got the very nice picture over the fireplace, which works pretty well. I was also a little bit concerned about them overwhelming the fireplace because obviously they're quite large and they would overhang on either side of the fireplace. So it might have looked a little bit out of balance. So I'm thinking that for now, at least they're gonna stay there. And unfortunately, we're gonna to have to keep the dreaded wall lights. But I am gonna look for some more and hopefully we can replace them very soon. But you know, I'm all about just dealing with what I have. At the moment, this is all I have, so that's that. I just want to thank you all for your very kind messages about Sophie. Uh, a lot of people were concerned and a lot of people sent me some very nice comments and messages. Um, to ask how she was, so thank you so much. I'm very happy to say that she's absolutely fine. She's been to the groomer this week and had a really good haircut. A little bit too short, but because she'd been scratching a lot, there were a few knots and mats. And I think as well, it will be um, very nice for her to have a good summer cut so that she can be cool throughout the summer months, even though it's not very sunny in Scotland, but I'm sure that it will be much better for her. She's actually resting in bed now. It's quite early in the morning and she likes to lay in. So we're not gonna disturb her, but I'm sure we'll get to see her later on in the video and you can check out her new haircut. So if you are a subscriber to my Nicholas Fairford newsletter, then you will have received an email last week celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. It was all about the Queen. Uh, and in that, I recommended a book called the other side of the coin and I just wanted to share that again here for those of you who aren't subscribed because it really is a book that I think you would enjoy. Um, this is written by the Queen's dresser Angela Kelly who's been the Queen's dresser for over 25 years and the Queen and Angela are supposed to have a very close relationship. I think the Queen said to Angela one day that, you know, we could even be sisters, which is pretty amazing because Angela Kelly is a working class lady. She was born in Liverpool. Her parents were just working class people and she has become one of the Queen's closest confidants. So 
it's pretty nice for them to have such a close relationship. And the Queen gave Angela her blessing to write this book. In fact, she she's written another one. This is the second, and so it is a very personal insight to the Queen. There are some incredible photographs in here that you will never have seen before of the Queen, very, very casual, joking around. I'm not going to share them. Check it out. You will really enjoy this book. So basically, it is all about what it takes to dress the Queen for all of the occasions that she has to attend, um, all of the state banquets, all of the overseas tours, and it is just a fascinating insight into how that all works, the organisation, which is something I'm very interested in. So yeah, if you were looking for a book about the Queen in the spirit of this Platinum Jubilee, this is the one that I would recommend. I will link it in the description below. And also, if you do want to check out my newsletter, I send that out once a month and it is, um, it's just an update about what's going on. And I always give recommendations for books and fragrances. It's just a very nice little thing to have. So do sign up at nicholasfairford.com. I wanted to let you know that my Botanica Fragrance Reed Diffuser is now available for shipping worldwide. So you may remember a few weeks ago I announced the launch of this product and um, I told you that we were just limiting the shipping to the US and the UK to make sure that it could be shipped safely without being damaged. We've shipped quite a few of them now. We've, we've asked for feedback from the customers who've purchased them and all of them have arrived safely, which is fantastic news. I'm so happy about that. There's nothing worse when you order a product and you're excited about it and then when you get it, it's damaged. So I'm very happy that we managed to get it in one piece. So yes, it is now available for shipping worldwide, which is very exciting. I absolutely love this diffuser. Um, I just like the fact that whenever I walk into the house, you can smell it and you've got that very pleasant fragrance without it being too overwhelming. So yes, if you want to... Um, Check out the diffuser, have a look online. It's on my website, nicholasfairford.com, and it really is a beautiful little product. So I'm happy that it's available worldwide. I should probably get started with preparing for this party. Now, I'm not doing this on my own. Vanessa is helping me out with a lot of the cooking. She's a good cook, so she's, gonna, she's, she's at home now working on some of the food. I'm gonna start making a chocolate cake. Now, this is one that I've made before. It is called chocolate biscuit cake and is the it's said to be the royal family's favorite cake and it's one of the queen's favorites and also it was served at william and kate's wedding back in 2011 and i made this once before and it is really delicious it is a crowd pleaser everyone seems to love it it's simple it's not it's a no bake cake you just have to refrigerate it so it's simple easy delicious and the perfect cake for this jubilee celebration now i was going to make the platinum pudding now if you don't know what that is earlier in the year the royal family announced that for the jubilee celebrations they were going to be holding a competition where they're asking people to submit a recipe for a platinum cake to celebrate the queen's jubilee and this would become the official pudding of the jubilee now i was going to make the platinum pudding but when i started to read the recipe and the instructions i realized that it is a very complicated pudding and for I'm, i've got such a busy week this week this party is taking up a lot of time so i absolutely do not have time to make this platinum pudding but it does look pretty amazing. It's kind of like a, a trifle and it's got lemon sponge in the bottom and then it's got layers of cream, uh, lemon jelly, jam, and then amaretto. And then on the top, it's got these cho white chocolate shards. So it's a pretty amazing looking pudding. I'm sure it tastes delicious, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to ever ever attempt it. It looks very complicated. But again, I will link that recipe in the description of this video so that if you want to check it out and if you want brave enough to try and bake it you can but not for me i'm 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 all about the easy life welcome back to my kitchen it's been quite a few weeks since we were last here together so it's so good to be back and i can tell you that the towels are now fully finished and i think you would agree it's looking so much brighter and better so i'm super pleased with the result and if anyone is looking to change up their kitchen maybe if you're renting a house 
and you can't really make too much of a change or you're just on a budget, this is a really good way to spruce up the kitchen by using the stick-on tiles. I will link them in the description of the video. As with everything else, I keep saying it, but people do like to have these recommendations. So let's get on with baking our chocolate biscuit cake. And as I mentioned before, this is a very simple recipe. It is no bake, so you simply put everything together into a um, tin and then you refrigerate it and that is it. So no baking involved, very simple and easy. The last time I made this, um, one of the things that the recipe calls for are rich tea biscuits. And a lot of my American friends were very confused by that. So this is a rich tea biscuit. It is a staple of British um, culture. We love these biscuits, even though they're very simple and don't have much flavor. When you dip them into tea, it is pure heaven. So I'm not sure what the alternative would be in the US. A lot of people said maybe a Graham's cracker. I've never tried one of those, so I'm not sure. I don't think it's the same, but um, I will try and find out the alternative of what this is for you and I'll put it into the recipe. But I'm very sorry that you can't try this because they're so delicious. So yeah, we've got the rich tea biscuits, which we're gonna crush and crumble together. We've got some dark chocolate, some butter and some sugar. It's so simple. What we do is, we mix the butter and the sugar together and then we melt the chocolate in a pan, pour it over the butter and sugar, add in the crushed up biscuits and that is it. It goes into the, the baking tin and then you let it set in the fridge. And at the end we make a chocolate ganache, pour it over the top, done. So simple and easy. So I'm gonna take about one cup of caster sugar and the butter is going in and then we mix. Okay, and I think that is pretty good. A nice fluffy sugar butter mix. So now we're gonna do the chocolate. And the biscuits. For my table setting, I've got these hocks, which are stunning, and they're the same colour as the theme for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. They chose this very gorgeous lilac colour to represent the Jubilee this year, so that's why I chose them. And then I've got these three Villaroy & Bock um, bud vases, and I'm just going to separate these 
ox into these three and um, lay them down my table. So I think it should look pretty nice. Stunning. Sophie. So this is Sophie's new cut. <laughs> Very trim. I'm just, oh, just look how gorgeous these flowers are. Just simple peonies and hocks, whatever they're called, I forgot. Just together, the perfect combination, looking absolutely stunning. Oh, dreamy, dreamy, dreamy day. So I've set the table with my new rose garden collection from Villeroy & Bock and I just love this china, it looks so gorgeous. Um, it's very subtle, not too in your face, beautiful soft pink and it goes well with this garden, especially now that it's got some a few flowers and plants in it. The other thing that I love about this collection is that it's multi-purpose. If you try to be a little bit clever, you can use it for different things like I really wanted to use the big coffee mugs because they're gorgeous but we're not going to be serving coffee on a hot day like this so I've put my dips in here so there's a mint dip in here we've got a butter bean dip in here and then I've just put crackers in these ones so it's just thinking outside the box using the things that you've got so that you can keep to a continuous theme it will impress your guests and make them feel very special. That's what I like the most. So I've got these little cheese sticks in here. And then the Villeroy & Bock garden collection, rose garden collection vases with some flowers in. It just looks very summery. It fits the theme very well. And I think my guests are gonna love this little setup. I always like to have a table when I'm having a party just for glassware so that everybody can grab a glass and they always know where to get one if they've lost their glass or they want to have a different drink. And I've got these beautiful glasses, obviously by Villeroy & Bock. Just gorgeous, look at, look at the way that these catch the light, stunning. So yeah, we've got wine glasses there, some goblets here, champagne flutes. I just think this is gorgeous. It's about 10 to 15 minutes before the start of my party and miraculously I'm ready. So I'm super relaxed. I should probably get changed because I'm wearing all black and it's really hot in this courtyard. So I'm just now having a glass of champagne. It always takes the edge off when you've been rushing around. So this will just make me relax even more and we're ready to have a fun time in the sunshine to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. So cheers. <laughs> So 
It's the day after my party. It was a real success. The sun was shining so brightly, as you could see, and everyone had a really good time. It went on till about 11 o'clock in the evening, and there was just a really great atmosphere for the Platinum Jubilee. So I'm very happy with how things turned out. So I just want to share this jug with you. This is a Villaroy and Bock jug, and it's really heavy and robust, and it, I served Pims in this yesterday, and everybody really loved it, so I thought that I'd share that with you here. And um, what I like about this is that it is really robust, heavy, and it, it's a good quality jug for serving pims, cocktails, or if you just want to put water in there when you're having a picnic outside. Um, I think with my sister's new house, she's moving in soon, I was thinking about getting a moving in gift, and I think this is what I'm going to get with some other, few, some other things from the collection. I think she'll really like that, and having her new garden, being outside a lot, she'll definitely put it to good use. So that is a really good gifting item that I think she will like. I also really like these mugs. I think mugs are a great thing to have in the house as, and as a, a moving in gift. My sister drinks a lot of coffee, so I'll probably give her that. And I also thought that I would gift this to one of you. So if you would like to be in with the chance of winning this Rose Garden Collection mug from Vidor and Bock, all you need to do is leave me a comment on this video. It can be anything. And I'm just going to pick somebody at random and I'm going to send you the gift of a mug. So yes, whether you're celebrating the Platinum Jubilee or not, let's all celebrate with a cup of tea or coffee, if that's your thing, and enter the competition to be in with the chance of winning. Well, thank you so much for joining me again. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it fun and interesting. It was so fun for me to share this little party with you. And I've had such an amazing time celebrating the Platinum Jubilee. I look forward to seeing you next week, but until then, have a really great week. Take care. Bye-bye.